creative peeps and welcome back to my channel for another Arteza video review. Uh, you guys know that I've been reviewing Arteza products for about a year now and I really do enjoy their gouache so I was super excited when they asked if I wanted to review their 60 color set because I know like many of you I we were curious to see what extra colors you got in the largest set. So I'm not really going to talk about the packaging because I've reviewed kind of the packaging in other uh, gouache videos of mine uh, talking about theirs. So the two packaging is exactly the same. I have noticed sometimes the lettering is white and sometimes the lettering is black. There doesn't seem to be any reason for that. Um, maybe there is there, but I haven't found a reason. So you get the 60 set in this box with all these little trays in there which uh, it looks very cute and I'm sure you could reuse the box. I of course changed the storage to fit my own stuff, but you guys know me. So anyway, I decided to color swatch out all of the colors as you do when you get new products. But the difference is this time, I'm swatching them in one of their watercolor sketchbooks, which I thought was really cool that they came out with these. I was kind of in the field for a new sketchbook, so I was super excited uh, to try this one out. I do have to say, this book is ginormous. The watercolor book is, it comes in a two pack. Uh, there's 64 pages, it's 110 pound or 230 GSM. Cold pressed watercolor paper, of course it is acid free. Uh, it has a natural linen binding, expandable inner pocket, and is supposed to be ideal for watercolor techniques and mixed media. So we'll talk about the journal in a little bit when I am doing my piece, but first off I wanna talk about the color offerings in the 60 color set. Now I did swatch uh, all of them out to begin with, and then I did some swatches to kind of show you guys the difference between the sets. So this first uh, set here that you see is what you get if you buy the 24 color set. And that is kind of their starter gouache set. It comes in the 24 colors. As you can see, you get the two whites, gray, black, kind of your usual colors, you know, lemon yellow, mid yellow, ochre. You get a flesh tint, a peach red, which is like a fluorescent pink. You get a rose color. Scarlet red, vermilion red, crimson red, burnt sienna, burnt umber, deep green, viridian green, Prussian blue, ultramarine blue, cerulean blue, mauve pale, sky blue, pale green, and sap green. So it's a really solid kind of starter traditional color set. Then, yes, you can see you have the option of buying the 12 set of metallics. Uh, so that comes with a really nice array of colors. I do enjoy the metallics and I've used them several times already. You may have noticed that when I did my Take 5 art challenge and some other videos recently. So you get a really nice white, you get a silver, a black, a bronze, a gold, an orange, a pink, a red, a purple, an aqua blue, a very light green, and a more emerald green. So then moving on, to the colors that you can only get in the 60 set. Now, I was very impressed with their uh, muted color selection and their pastel range, which I felt they were really missing from the traditional 24 set. So I was really happy to see those. There's lots of light browns and tans. There's light flesh tones, light yellows, light pinks. There's an ice blue. So they did a really good job with kind of the pastel uh, type colors and I really enjoy the more deep muted colors like the stone blue and the wine berry and the sage green and the Aegean blue I think is how you say it the mauve I was just very impressed with all of that the seaweed color is gorgeous 
The one thing I was really kind of upset about, to be honest, when I swatched them all out was I realized there really aren't any um, turquoises. Like there's no real good blue greens. There's also no real like strong peach color. There's kind of that peachy pink, but I love the peachy red. Um, so that was kind of like a coral red. So that was kind of a bummer because I use those kind of offbeat, funky beach colors, I like to call them. Um, and they're really, there's really nothing in the way of that. Like there's no mint, um, there's no sea blue turquoise um, and stuff like that. So if they are going to expand on their colors, I would love, love to see something like that. But as far as, like I said, the muted selection goes, I really do love the 60 set. I think for the bang for your buck, um, the 60 set is really good because you get all the metallics. Um, you do still only get two whites. I think it would have been cool to get like an, another white. Um, and the one downside, of course, of all of these products is even though they are um, artist quality, you can't buy them in singles. So if you really like one color and you run out, um, they don't offer that. However, it is possible that they might do that in the future. I know that they have done that for their brush pens finally. You can now buy a set of one, four of one color, I, I think. Um, so yeah, one thing to mention in case you catch it and you're wondering, they did change the name I noticed um, of a few colors um, from the set that I got last year to the set that I got this year. So the flesh tint in the 24 set that I got previously is the same color as the light apricot in the um, 60 set. And the mauve pale color that you see in the 24 set is now called lilac. Um, which I thought was a brilliant um, color change name to that because, um, yeah, it just matched. I really do think they should have changed peach red to floral pink, but, you know, that's life. So to talk about the sketchbook real quick, um, this sketchbook is, like I said, it's huge. I really do enjoy the bigger size. However, my only issue with it is I can't fit it in my scanner so I would have loved to see maybe a book with the dimensions of like 9.5 by 6.5 they do have some smaller versions but they are like landscape and that's not that's not my style I don't like landscape slash portrait I like the ones that are like you know traditional sketchbook it looks like a book you know what I mean so I would have loved to see that smaller size. I also do have to say, um, while the binding is held up really well um, and the fabric is nice, it says it's dual sided and I mean it is and to be expected with watercolor paper, um, the texture is much more heavy on one side than the other. So when you use the side with the uh, texture or tooth on it, it acts like regular watercolor paper. But when you use the back of it, you can get a little bit of pilling and you get some granulation. Now, if you're going to do like some sketches and then do a watercolor on the next page, that doesn't really matter too much to you. But it's just something to know, even though it says it's double sided, if you're looking for that um, cold pressed kind of tooth, to the paper, it only happens like, you know, every other page because of how the book is bound. I also noticed that the stitching doesn't go all the way to the edges. So sometimes um, the signatures lift up a little. So I wish they had stitched the binding all the way down. Uh, that would have been really nice. But other than that, I really do enjoy this sketchbook. There's a lot of warping, um, but uh, for the band is good. The expandable pocket is good. I put a sticker on the canvas outside and it hasn't even peeled off, which is awesome. And yeah, I mean, overall, do I think this is the best sketchbook in the world? No, I think they sh could make some improvements. Um, 
but as far as watercolor sketchbooks out there go, it's really not a bad option. So if you wanted to try out a huge size, maybe get one for you and your friend because they come in two packs. But yeah, so this is the piece that I created that you've been watching. Um, let me just tell you what colors I used in case you're curious. I used the Pearl White Rose, which is like the metallic white color. I used the Blush Pink, the Wine Berry, and the Stone Blue. I also used two of their watercolor pencils. I used the Periwinkle to sketch out the moons, and of course the Black Noir to do the outlines of the moon and the stars. And I do love using their watercolor pencils in tandem with the gouache. They're definitely my two favorite products from them still thus far, um, and I hope to try out even more of their products very soon. So thank you guys so much for watching this video today. I hope that you found this review helpful and that maybe it helped you answer some questions that you had about the 60 color set um, and help you decide on whether any of these products are a right fit for you or not. I know I love watching review videos just to figure out exactly what I want to spend my money on. So yeah, it's basically just to help you make an informed decision. I would love to hear in the comments below what your favorite watercolor sketchbook is. I am on the hunt for a new sketchbook. Um, I'm debating on the Moleskin Art Plus. Um, just because I've seen some other artists use it, but I'd love to know what your favorite is in the comments below. If you are interested in shopping any of these Arteza products or any others, you can use my coupon code that's found in the description box below. I will leave linked below all the products that I talked about today in case you want to just kind of check them out, snoop around, you know, do your thing. And yeah, I'll catch you guys in my next video. Take care guys, bye.